Welcome everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrabby Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Design Space Facebook group. And there is a card in Design Space that everybody has been asking me to help teach them how to make it because it is so darn cute. It's one of the pre-made cards in Design Space. Let me show you. So look at this. Oh my God, it's so cute. Perfect for Easter coming up in a couple of weeks to send to somebody special. and. It's just too darn cute, right? Now, I show you how to put this card together, but I wanted to show you, I also designed a cover for the card because it doesn't come with any of this on the front of the card. It is just blank with just this white egg piece on it. And I thought, well, that's just too plain for such a cute card. So I took images in Design Space, which I'll share with you what images they are. And I'll show you how did I create this so that you have both a cover uh, front of your card, front of your card, to the beautiful inside of your card. So let's get started. Okay, so let me show you in Design Space how do you find that Easter basket pop-up card so you can make it. So here we are, I have cre I am on a new design space screen and I come over here to projects in your left hand menu, you're gonna click projects. Then it's gonna pop up with everything, right? All categories. How to filter, you're gonna come over here to where it says all categories and you're gonna click the down arrow and you're gonna come down here to cards. All right, and now we have here are the cards, okay? So this is the one we're gonna work on today, which is the Easter basket pop-up card. And you'll click on that. This gives you all the dimensions. So this card is a five by seven when you uh, complete the card. And you're gonna be cutting and drawing uh, and scoring with this card. So you will need to have the uh, scoring wheel or the scoring stylus, a light grip mat, there's uh, black pens used, the Cricut Black Pen, the 4.0, and also the brown moccasin pen is used. If you don't have the brown one, you can just use the black one. Um, you need adhesive for your paper, right? So whatever glue or tape that you like to use. Now, I did not use a hot glue gun. I did not need that for this project. I use score tape and just my tape runner, okay? And zig two-way glue pen and then you'll need some colors of cardstock depending upon what you want all right so simple supplies that you need for this project now if you come down here there are step-by-step -step photos okay they're a little bit confusing i'm going to show you in this tutorial video how once you cut everything out how do you put it together Okay, but there are some photos here for you. Now, what I want you to do is once you find this, I want you to hit customize, not make it. Make it would send it over to your Cricut immediately and you could cut everything out and make the card as it as is. However, the front of this card is really blank. Okay, it just has an egg shape cut out on it. So I have added some elements to the front of my card and I'm going to show you how I did that so that then it's, a fully completed card okay so you instead of hitting make it you're gonna hit customize so once you hit customize so once you hit customize it's going to add the image to your design space screen all right and it's gonna look like this which is nice it comes in and it is going to all be grouped and it's already sized so you don't have to do any sizing for this part okay so this is what's going to be on your screen you even get the envelope for this all right so that makes it really easy however I want to add some images to my design space project so that then I am able to create a front view for this card. So you need to click on your image here because it's going to be, this is all going to be grouped and you want to come up here to the layers panel and you're going to hit ungroup because you want each of these pieces to be separate. Then what I want you to do is we're going to Rem just move these over we're still going to use them but we're going to move them over this is how the front of the card looks right now okay it's just this egg shape and it's going to show up 
uh, behind whatever color of cardstock you use for this this uh, piece okay but I thought that was really plain and I wanted to jazz it up a little bit so I showed you the front of my card earlier let me show you how I did that you just want to move it so you see this part now I found an egg shape in design space and it is uh, egg number uh, hashtag M4462 2d it is a two layer egg shape okay if you look over here in the layers panel there is two layers here so i'm going to ungroup these okay so here's the two eggs what i want is i want this <laughs> i want just the outline okay so i'm going to take the outline and i'm going to move it up here and i'm going to unlock it and i'm going to size this egg shape until it fits around that cutout like that okay so all i did was i un i unlocked it here and i moved the image over slightly to the left and down a little bit so now i have an outline that's going to go around that egg and it's going to make it more interesting um, and I want to change this to purple because I'm going to use purple paper to cut this. Okay. So now I have this part. Then what I did is I found this, um, image in design space. And this is the Easter with the bunny ears. And it is hashtag M254A6F76. And I'm going to use this on my, on the front of my card. Okay. But it's too big, so I'm just going to size this down. I'm just using the grab handle. I'm just going to size it down so it's going to fit about like this on the front of my card. Okay. Now, I don't want it to cut in these colors. I want it to cut in the colors that I'm using uh, on the card overall. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click this. I'm going to come over here to my layers panel. And you're going to see where those little bunnies are for the letter cutouts are right here so the pink one here i'm going to move it up to the same pink that i'm going to use throughout my card okay and then for blue i want this to be the same blue that i'm using the same blue green that i'm using on my card so i move that one up and then for letters i want them to be yellow so i'm going to move them up to yellow okay and then for the T, I'm going to make that T that same purple that I'm going to do for the egg shape. And now you can see that we have changed the colors. So everything's going to coordinate when it goes to cut it on your mat. It will all be in the colors that you need. Okay. And then let's see. Oh yeah, we need some grass. So this is a grass image in design space. And it is grass image, hashtag M35A73. And we're just going to take this and we're just going to shrink it using our little arrow key over here. And I'm going to move this up. Let me move this up just a little bit. And I'm just going to move that grass up here and make it small enough that it's going to fit the front of the card. And we'll kind of have it look like the Easter's popping up out of the grass. Okay, so that's easy enough. Now, this image already came in with colors on it, and there is already a green. So I want to cut that out of the same green material. And so I'm going to grab that Easter grass, and I'm going to move it up here to the green. Okay, so now we've got that part done. Then I wanted to write the word happy across the top here. So all I did was I went into the text box and type in the word happy. Okay, and then when I, I'm going to take this, I'm just going to move it down here so y'all can see it easier. What I'm going to create is this. Okay, because that's what I want to put across the top of that. But let me show you how I did that. So here's the word happy. I want to go in and I'm going to uh, curve this. Okay, but I want to curve it around the top of that egg. So I'm going to put it over here in the front on the front of my card. I'm going to move this, make this a little bit smaller because it's it comes in a little bit bigger than I would want. And then I'm going to hit the curve up here. See where it is in the layers panel? So you're going to hit curve and then I'm just going to slightly curve this. Okay. 
Okay, and then you can also kind of move it over about like that. Then I want to come up here to offset and I want to offset those letters. So I'm going to hit offset. And then for offset, it's going to go in and just, it takes a second for it to go in and do the offset part. And then you see this blue line around your letters. That's your offset. So this is going, I'm going to make it smaller. I don't want it to be that big. And I can just keep making it smaller till I get it the way I want. So I like mine kind of about there. And then I'm going to hit apply. Okay, now I'm going to go back over to my layers panel because I want to color this so it's going to match everything. So for the background layer of the offset, here's the, here's the word. I just use the Cricut Sans font since that's free for everybody. And then for the background of this, I want to make it the yellow. Okay, so we're going to make that yellow. And for the letters, I want to make it that blue that we're going to be using in our project. Okay. So now you see this is what the front of your card's going to look like. And um, it's, it's just a great way to add a little bit more interest to your card is to design something on the front of it. So any of these cards in Cricut Design Space that they have these beautiful images in the middle of them, they don't always um, give you tips for decorating the front of them. So I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that it's super easy to get some images together to make your card. Now I'm going to show you how to um, assemble. So once you get everything cut out, then watch the assembly part of the video where I show you how to put this card together because it's a little tricky with how all of these pieces slit together to go into the card base. But I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so here is the front of the card, and here is the inside. This is what we're going to be making today, and this is the assembly part of the video. To our, I recommend that you have some double-sided sticky tape, so I'm using a score tape. You'll need a pair of scissors. A Zig 2-way glue pen is very helpful, and a tape runner. And uh, I like to use a pair of tweezers, and these are those Cricut fine tip tweezers. So whatever you have in your arsenal, those are, you're going to see that that's what I'm using as I assemble the project. Now we're going to start with the front of the card because as you can see, it's a little bulky once you put the insert in. So we're going to start with the front of the card. So you've already cut out all your card pieces and we have the insides here, which we're not going to use right now. So I'm going to set these off to the side. But this is your front of your card. So you want to fold along that edge so that the egg shape is facing up and your card would open up this way. Okay, so you want this egg shape to be facing up. And now we're going to add our first element, which is that egg shape that I showed you guys how to make in Design Space in the first part of the video. Okay, so I'm just going to add some Zig 2A glue. You can use whatever you want for your adhesive. I just think I have a lot of control with this, so I tend to use the Zig 2A pens. You can get those at most craft stores and Amazon. I'll try to link up supplies in the description of the video in case you guys are not familiar with any of these and might like to get them. Okay, so you're just going to glue that down. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add the word happy across the top. Now, this is the one that I showed you that I did the offset on, and it did come out in two pieces. And all I did was add the letters to the front of this offset just to speed up the process. But I'm going to just glue this down. And two of the letters are separate, which was fine. Now, depending upon how much you uh, did your offset, uh, yours may your letters may look slightly different than mine, and that's fine. And you may have picked a different font, and that's fine. But I'm just going to put the word happy right here on the front. Now we're going to go in and we're going to add that Easter, the Easter image to the bottom. 
So I've got these letters. And what I like to do is start with the two outside letters first. Um, and then we're going to have, there's four more letters that fit in here. So you want to make sure you can get all four letters on. Okay, so we're going to start with the E, the pink, the big pink E, or whatever color you made yours, but this is the capital letter E. And I'm just going to line it up pretty close to the edge over here. And I want to line up my R, and mine is in yellow. Yours may be different, but mine is in yellow. And I'm just going to kind of line it up and set it right about here. Okay, and then you have the A, and there is a little insert for the A in that letter. So hopefully you did not throw that away when you did your cut. It, cut. So there's a little insert for that A, and uh, that's where I find having the tweezers helps a lot, is to help with those little pieces. And then we have the S. this on here and there's a T and then there's the letter the small e okay that small e also had a little insert to it so hopefully you kept that if not you can always just take a pen and draw it in if you want Okay, and now I need to get that small insert piece, and now I definitely need to have my tweezers for this. And then I'm just adding glue to the back of it so it'll stay in place. Make sure I turned it the right way. There we go. You move that over so it's in the right place before it starts to dry. Okay, so now we have the Easter on the front of the card. And then I'm just going to glue this on. Now, what I did was I just took my fingers. This is the grass piece that we that we made. Um, and I just kind of flipped it, like just like you see me doing here. I'm just kind of flipping some of those up so it doesn't look quite so flat. Okay, so I just flipped them up a little bit. And then I'm just going to glue them, glue this strip right down here across the bottom. So it's just barely covering the bottom of the letters. And for this, I'm going to use my tape runner. And glue it just so that grass covers just the bottom and you see the letters peeking out underneath. So now we have the front of our card done. Happy Easter. And uh, we're going to set this aside for now. Now we're going to work on assembling the pieces, okay? And for this, I'm mainly going to be using my score tape and my scissors for this um, and the glue, the glue, uh, zig to a glue pen. All right, the first thing you want to get out is that adorable little bunny. And we're going to add the pink piece to the back of the bunny, okay? So I'm just going to take my zig to a glue pen and I'm going to. Just kind of cover this part where the where the pink shape of the bunny would go on. Then I'm going to line that up and just glue these together. Okay, so now we've got the bunny is done. And then I want you to get out the piece of grass that looks like this. Okay, now it's really important that you select the right piece of grass as we start to assemble this part because um, each of them is slightly different. So I'm going to make sure that you notice the things that are specific to that shape. So this is, it has that little extra round knob here on the top of it. None of the other pieces have this, okay? So I put a B there just so I know that that's where the bunny goes and I can explain it to you. Then there's a little notch right here and that is where the blue egg is going to go. So what I want you to do is get the blue egg shape that has this slit on the top, okay? There's two pieces to the egg. The one 
that has the slit on the top is what we're going to be able to put here on this other tab. OK, this piece will slide into this one to make it 3D, but we'll add this later. So set that one aside. So we're going to have our bunny. And the bunny, let me show you. The bunny goes here where you see this knob and right here where you see this part is kind of where his foot goes. OK, so the bunny gets glued on first. And I'm just going to add some glue, add some here and where the bunny foot goes to hold that on. And then I'm going to put this, line this up together and just press down to let that glue stick. Okay, and now the bunny is added to that piece. Then you're going to take that blue egg that has the slit down the center at the top, and we're gonna glue it here on the little tab next to the bunny's feet. Now, before you put that on there, the bunny has um, where his arm is, There, it's been cut out around that arm, and you want to slide your egg into that piece, and it should fit perfectly, and then you're just gonna press the egg down onto that tab that you added a little bit of glue to. OK, so now that is how you get the egg and the bunny onto their assigned piece. And then you're going to take the a grass shape. This is the grass shape that has the one, two, three, four, five, five lines across the bottom, five cutout lines across the bottom. That's the piece that you want now. And we're going to add on the yellow egg that has the slit at the top. So I'm just going to add some glue onto this piece, and then I'm going to stick my egg on it, OK? So like that. So this is the grass piece that has the four, the five slits across the bottom, all right? So once we have that, and that other yellow egg, we'll add that later. And then the next piece you want to get out is the one that has a tab here. So you see where it has a tab and it has two slits next to it and three across the bottom. Okay, so you wanna make sure you get the one that has the tab and that's the one where the pink egg goes. So I'm just gonna add some glue onto here and you wanna take the pink egg that has the slit running down from the top and glue it on. Okay, so that's that's simple enough. And then you need to take these two pieces. Okay, so you have these two pieces that look like this. They have tabs on them. And we're going to fold them in the center line here. So there's a center score line here. Okay, to kind of make it look like a V. And then there's these tabs on the side. So fold the tab in towards the center and the bottom tab folds up. Okay, so you're making it like a little stand. Okay, so this curved tab part goes, fold it toward the back, and then this tab goes folded up. So you're making it like a little stand. So if you stand it up, it should stand up perfectly for you. Okay, so you're going to do that with this other piece. Okay, these two pieces are the same. There's no difference between these. So we're going to fold it along the center edge here. We're going to fold it here where that where the rounded shape is, and that folds to the back. And then this fold piece folds up. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. This piece folds to the back. This piece folds up. So it kind of creates a foot. And then what you're going to do is once you have these pieces together, you're going to just insert. There's a little slit here where the tab is. OK, you're going to insert these together with those tabs facing out. OK, the little feet, I guess I'm going to call them feet, the little feet facing out. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're just going to slip those together. OK, so once you get them fit together, it should look like this. So you've got the two tabs facing out on each side. 
And the best thing to do is to face this so that the tabs are pointing outwards and the, and the where we folded this is pointing towards you, okay? Like you see here, because now we're gonna insert the pieces that we have over here. Okay, so once you get it together, so it looks like this, line it up so that the where we folded it is facing you and the tabs are facing out to the side. Then what I want you to do is there are two pieces that have leaves on them like this, okay? I want you to take the one that has the two longer pieces, um, slits across the bottom and the three slits in the middle. This one goes in first and it's going to go here. You'll see, you'll see where you can just slide this in and it goes in the middle ones. Okay, we're going to slide that down just like that. Then this one, the other one, um, has two slits across the top and three across the bottom, and it goes across this one. So you're going to place it so it goes in the slits, and then it slides all the way down. So basically what you're doing is you're forming an X in the bottom of the box. Okay, so one piece goes across here and one piece goes across here. Start with the one that goes across this way and then put the other piece across this way. All right, so once you get those slit in, then you have a piece that does not have an egg on it. The piece that does not have an egg on it goes in this first slit right here. Just slide that in. Okay, so now we have all the green pieces without an egg on it are now in your box, okay? Then you wanna take the pink, the one with the pink egg, and still with this still pointing towards you, you wanna put this one as far to the right as the slits go, okay? So there's a slit right here, and you're gonna slide this one in. Okay, so once we get that one slid in, then what we wanna do is we're going to put in our bunny. So there's two slits here on the side and the bunny goes right here. And then those insert pieces slide into the slits on the bottom. So now you have the pink is to your right and the bunny is in the front. And then you have your yellow piece of grass, the one with the yellow egg on it, and it slides into that back piece. Okay, so now we have all of the uh, pieces are assembled for our grass insert. Okay, now, now with the bunny facing you, you're going to notice that there are two of the um, leaf pieces on the sides here. See where my fingers are? Let me hold this up. Okay, so with the bunny facing up, you have two leaf pieces on each side where my fingers are. Those are the two pieces you're going to glue the handles of the basket to. So you'll have a, a shape like this. And I'm just going to use a little bit of my score tape here just because I really want to make sure it holds on. But you can just use your adhesive glue or whatever you want to use for this, but I just like using the score tape because it makes it so much easier. Uh, and I know it's going to stay in place. I'm not going to have any glue lifting off of it or anything and that handle not staying where it needs to be. Okay, so when you go to put the handle on, the handle goes, here's those two pieces of the leaves and the handle slides back behind and gets glued to the back of those pieces. You need to make sure that that handle goes down far enough or your basket's not gonna close correctly, okay? So I'm making sure that it kind of is, I'll show you, and you just glue it to the back of those leaves, okay? So, I want to make sure that my handle is about, see how it's about even with the bunny ears. If I did it like, if I you look, use my finger, the handle's about even, maybe a little bit higher than the bunny ears, but not by much. 
right? Because you want it to be low enough that when you close your card, it's going to work correctly. Then the next piece you're going to take is you have your outside of your basket. Now, I try to do it the way that Cricut design, uh, Cricut in the instruction said to do it, and it was really hard. So I came up with a little bit easier way to do it. But what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece. This piece has score lines on it already, and it's already got the scallop here where they use the pen marks. There are three tabs. I want you to go ahead and put adhesive. If you're using the score tape, go ahead and put adhesive on those three tabs, on the ends, on this outside of it, and also on the two tabs here on the back side. Okay, so these little ones on the bottom of the basket get score tape on both sides of them. And you get one piece over here on this tab just on the outside. Then I want you to take this and you're gonna fold it along all those lines, the, the score lines, and we'll kind of start seeing the basket shape come together here, okay. So once you've scored all of those, just folded them in, we're going to take the basket and where the two outside, tab, these two bottom tabs are, this is actually going to go where the tabs are on your, um, on your grass part. And then the basket needs to be glued together around it. Okay. So I found it much easier to put my basket <laughs> together by going ahead and taking the bottom adhesive off of that off of the tab here and gluing it on top of this okay so here are these points i'm going to take this piece but i took the adhesive off the bottom and i'm going to glue it on top of those Okay, so now I've got this tab is glued together, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here on these two tabs, okay? And then we're going to close up the basket and glue it together. Now, Cricut's direction said to glue the basket together first and then try to do this, and it was just really hard. And I found after making several of these, that it was so much easier to glue the tabs first. Okay, so now we've got the tabs are glued, the brown basket tabs are glued to the top of the green. Okay. And then you have the, bas the side of the basket that has the one piece of score tape on it or whatever adhesive you're using. And then you just match those edges up to get that basket shape. So now we have our basket is finished. This is the centerpiece for your card. That's the hardest part, guys. Okay, so now we have this part done. And then you have your extra eggs, right? So the only thing you have to do now is you can slide your eggs into the pieces. So the pink one goes there, they'll slide in. Bottom slip goes into the side slit, and then the same thing with the blue on that front piece. So now all of our eggs are in our basket, our bunnies in our basket, our basket is glued together, and now we're ready to assemble it to the bottom of our. So we're going to take our card, we've got our front that we made, and the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and glue in your. Um, these pieces, the mint pieces, or whatever color you made yours. Mine are kind of a mint green color. Okay, and we're going to glue these into the center of the card, but we're th this is your fold line on your card here in the middle. Okay, you want these pieces to not impede the folding of that card. Okay, so I'm, I'm putting it fairly close to where it closes, but I'm not lining it up exactly on top of that line. Okay, so we're going to take those, make sure when you put these on that your eggs are in your four corners. Okay, so if you have your piece like this, if you turn it around, your eggs are not in the four corners. So just make sure you flipped it so your eggs are in the four corners and then you're going to glue that. So I'm just going to use my um, tape runner on this. 
I'm just going to glue on here, and I'll probably put a couple little pieces here in the corner just to make sure this stays down. Okay, and when I go to glue it in, like I said, I'm going to put it so it is not impeding of the of the center of the card. Sorry. And then you want to glue the other one just like that one. I'm going to match up the edges. So we're going to do this. And I'm just going to kind of line it up so it's even with the piece next to it. OK, so now we have the insert glued in. And we get to this part. All right, so these two pieces are going to eventually get glued down to here, OK, where the edge of your uh, card base is on the inside. It's going to be glued here, and you're going to need to match it up, OK? But first, we have to insert our bunny into these slits. So I decided I would rather go ahead and add my adhesive on the bottom of these flaps. And there again, I'm going to use some score tape because I, this is the mechanism that's going to be folded up and down a bunch of times as people play with this card. And I really want to make sure that it stays in place. OK, so I'm adding three strips of score tape, one here, one here, and a little one here on the bottom of my pieces. OK, so I've got score tape on the bottoms of both sides. We're going to flip these back around. And remember when I told you to put, if you're using the score tape or the double-sided tape, to put a piece on the top of your basket edge and a piece on the other top of the basket edge when we put this together, remember? OK, that's the piece or that's going to slide into these slits like this. And it'll take a little maneuvering. You're going to slide it in and we're going to glue this to the back. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. And glue that down and I'm going to do the same thing on that other side. OK, so here's the other side. I'm going to open that up and glue this in here. You just want to glue them flat. OK, so now we have our basket is inserted into our strip here. And you want it to be flush with the edge. There you go. OK, so we've got the basket into those flaps. OK, now I'm just going to flip this over. I'm not going to worry if my egg pieces slide out. I'll just pop, pop them back in. But now I want to, uh, yeah, see, there they go. We can add those back in in a second. But now I want to go ahead and remove the back of where I put my adhesive strips here. OK, so once you get your adhesive off the back of your doilies, OK, then you're going to lay your card down. So when you fold this up, OK, see where there's a point on it now when you fold it in half? That's where you want to make sure you're, you're lining up your card. And it goes in the center, and I'm putting it along the edge of that insert liner. OK, and now your card is assembled. I'm just going to press around the sides here to make sure that it is ready. And then you're going to fold it. OK, I just want to fold it and make sure that everything's working appropriately. OK, and then if your eggs fell out, which mine did, yours probably did too, you can go ahead and just insert your little eggs back in here. And that's it. And then you can write your sentiment on here however you want. But this is the Happy Easter card. It's the Happy Easter pop-up card in Design Space. And I hope you guys enjoyed that and it made sense the way I described it. I got a lot of requests to make this card 
to show you guys how to assemble it because it's super cute, but it's a little more complicated than most of us are used to. Anyway, all right, guys, happy Easter to everybody if you celebrate Easter, but I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Come join us over in the Let's Learn Cricut Design Space Facebook group where we have a lot of fun sharing and learning how to use our Cricut machines. And um, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of tutorials coming out and I want to make sure you don't miss any. So hit that bell icon when you do that as well. All right. See you guys later.